June 4th, 2013. It was graduation for me. And it was mixed emotions. On one side, I was elated. To graduate from the number one academic institution in the country, I was excited. On the other end, and we have some college graduates here, to graduate unemployed kind of hurts your gut a little bit. <laughs> but it raised some questions. And I can remember one of my good friends giving me a book. And the book changed my perspective. The book was Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. It talked about his journey, his professional journey, as he used networking and building relationships to not only grow professionally, but personally. So I thought to myself, if it could work for him, maybe I should try it. So the next six months I did, and the results were amazing. Instead of looking for jobs, instead of reaching out, jobs were coming to me. JP Morgan, NCAA, Princeton University. I was amazed, I was excited for myself, but more so, it raised the question in my mind. How was I getting these results? And number two, why aren't our academic institutions, why aren't our colleges and our high schools teaching young people this very important skill set? This inspired me. So I went back to my alma mater and I wanted to tell my friends. Profound Ivy was a program that was a passion project, but it grew to so much more. And over the course of three years, I wanted to teach these principles of networking to young people just like me, so that when graduation comes, they wouldn't experience that same feeling. Over the course of three years, results were great. Over 90% of the students that were in Profound Ivy landed their dream internship or their dream job at the end of the year. College graduates, college undergraduates rather, they understand the principles of networking, but how can we take this ever so important, this ever so important detail and apply it to young people? I thought long and hard. A year goes by and I go to Compton, California and I'm asked to teach networking to students. Of course, I say it's great. Catch. Now they're elementary students. You guys laugh because you understand. There's a little bit of a different <laughs> pace there. I remember the first time I walked in the classroom, and I'm thinking to myself, how do you teach this complex topic but ever so important to young people? So I asked the crowd, and I say, does anybody have a dream? And a young man by the name of Alejandro, he's about four feet tall, but his arm shot to the sky. He said, I have a dream, I have a dream. I said, Alejandro. And he stood up and he said, my dream is to be a lacrosse coach, like my lacrosse coaches. And I said, okay, he has a dream. And I thought to myself, this is important here. He knew something. There was some conviction there. So I wanna share with you what I believe can be incredibly important for young people. How do we teach young people the principles of networking? Three bones to networking, three simple bones. And you guys all know this. We all know this. It's common sense, but sometimes common sense is not common practice. So the first bone of networking, wishbone. Whether you're a college graduate or you're in elementary school, what do you want and who can help you attain that? Alejandro had it. He wanted to be a lacrosse coach. And he knew that he had to reach out to a lacrosse community to take that very next step. Bone number two, jawbone. Now there's two components to a jawbone. Competency and humility. Competency and humility. Competency. Do you know what you're talking about? Have you done your research? One of the reasons I believe Profound Ivy was so good at, what it, at producing results was because before students would reach out, we made sure that they did research on their industry and then their company and then the department and then the position and then the individual. 
So before they began to network, they had so much extensive knowledge, but by the time they opened their mouths, people were intrigued to hear what they wanted, had to say. The other part of that jawbone, humility. You could know everything in the world, but if people don't like you, <laughs> if people don't like you, they will not help you. One simple part of humility is this, and I'm wearing his shoes. These are Gary Vee shoes, and he has this his principle that he says, and it's 5149. Whenever we make a relationship and we're trying to connect with someone, it's usually 50-50. But in networking, if we can learn how to be the 51, if we can learn how to give more, if every time we reach out to someone, we could look and say, what is it? that they're looking for and how can I help? It puts us in a position to succeed. And last but not least, my favorite, the last bone that we need to network is the backbone. Persist, persist, persist. The most common word in networking is the word no. You'll hear it over and over again. I like to tell students this story and I'll tell it to you the same way. I wanted to become an author. I had no idea how to begin. Very simple formula and I wanted to follow my own advice. I wanted to reach out to 10 authors who wrote in the particular area that I wanted to write in. I read 10 of their books. At the end of their book, I saw their email. I reached out to the 10 authors. Of the 10 authors I reached out to, two replied to me. Of the two that got back to me, one responded and he was a best-selling author and I'm so excited and I opened the email and it says, good luck. <laughs> but there was one guy, a guy by the name of Adam, someone who I still talk to to this day. Adam called me. Adam spoke to me on the phone for three hours. Adam taught me how to market a book, how to publish a book, how to write chapter by chapter. And at the end of our call, Adam told me, Call me when you finish chapter one. Powerful. Powerful. Through networking. Through networking. That was my passion to become an author. And networking got me there. The reason why I believe these three bones to networking is so crucial in today's world is because young people have to understand this is a skill set. I envision a time where networking is taught just like math, just like reading just like writing, because in the 21st century, I truly, truly believe, truly believe that networking is the currency of our age today. An individual who has the ability to make connections with one another, you'll always be in a place where you can progress, where you can go forward. Skill sets are okay, right? Most people think of networking as a skill set. But I hope with today and I hope going forward that we can start to teach younger people that networking is also a skill set, but it's also a mindset. The people to your left and your right can help you in ways you couldn't possibly imagine. So if any of you know young people, and you're saying, what do you want to teach them? Three bones to networking. Wishbone. State what you want. Jawbone. Ask with comp competency and humility. And last but not least, backbone. Persist, persist, persist. Thank you, guys.